Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Reading to the Bible in a Year. I hope everybody's having a blessed day. We're getting a little bit of snow here. Not too bad. I've already done my town thing. It's going to be a pretty busy week for me, so I'm not sure um, how many days I'm going to be able to do this. Um, probably tomorrow. It'll be late. And then Wednesday, I've got to have five teeth taken out. So don't think I'll be doing too much talking Wednesday. Um, and then, let's see, I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. I've got a dentist appointment Wednesday. Uh, and i got a vet appointment Thursday. So every day this week. Yeehaw! And the hubby is sitting in Connecticut. With already about six inches or so of snow. <clears throat> Probably going to get a foot or two up there. So he's not going to be here to be able to help me. Uh, it is what it is. We'll just put our faith in the Lord for me to get through everything I need to get through. And take care of these puppers. Anyway, we're going to be back in First Kings today. Chapters 3 and 4. We'll be able to get 3 and 4 out today. So here we go. 1 Kings chapter 3. And Solomon made affinity with Pharaoh king of Egypt, and took Pharaoh's daughter, and brought her into the city of David, until he had made an end of building his own house, and the house of the Lord, and the wall of Jerusalem round about. Only the people sacrificed in high places, because there was no house built unto the name of the Lord until those days. And Solomon loved the Lord, walking in the statutes of David his father. Only he sacrificed and burnt incense in high places. And the king went to Gibeon to sacrifice there, for that was the great high place. A thousand burnt offerings did Solomon offer up that altar. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, Ask what I shall give thee. And Solomon said, Thou hast showed unto thy servant David my father great mercy, according as he walked before thee in truth and in righteousness, and in uprightness of heart with thee. Thou hast kept for him this great kindness that thou hast given him, a son to sit on his throne, as it is this day. And now, O Lord my God, thou hast made thy servant king instead of David my father, and I am but a little child. I know not how to go out or come in. And thy servant is in the midst of thy people which thou hast chosen, a great people that cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this, thy so great a people? And the speech pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this thing. And God said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither hast asked riches for thyself, nor hast asked the life of thine enemies, but hast asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment, behold, I have done according to thy works. Lo, I have given thee a wise and an understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither there after thee shall any rise like unto thee. And I have also given thee that which thou hast not asked, both riches and honor, so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all thy days. And if thou wilt walk in my ways to my statutes and my commandments, as thy father David did walk, then I will lengthen thy days. And Solomon awoke, and behold, it was a dream. And he came to Jerusalem, and stood before the ark of the covenant of the Lord, and offered up burnt offerings, and offered peace offerings, and made a feast to all his servants. Then came there two women that were harlots unto the king, and stood before him. And the one woman said, O oh my Lord, I and this woman dwell in one house, and I was delivered of a child with her in the house. And it came to pass, the third day after that I was delivered, that this woman was delivered also. And we were together. There was no stranger with us in the house, save we two in the house. And this woman's child died in the night, because she overlaid it. 
And she arose at midnight and took my son from beside me, while thine handmaid slept, and laid it in her bosom, and laid her dead child in my bosom. And when I rose in the morning to give my child suck, behold, it was dead. But when I considered it in the morning, behold, it was not my son, which I did, which I did bear. And the other woman said, Nay, but the living is my son, and the dead is thy son. And this said, No, but the dead is thy son, and the living is my son. Thus they spake before the king. Then said the king, the one saith, This is my son that liveth, and thy son is the dead. And the other saith, Nay, but thy son is the dead, and my son is the living. And the king said, Bring me a sword. And they brought a sword before the king. And the king said, Divide the living child in two, and give half to one and half to the other. Then spake the woman whose the living child was unto the king, for her bowels yearned upon her son. And she said, O oh my lord, give her the living child, and in no wise slay it. But the other said, Let it be neither mine nor thine, but divide it. Then the king answered and said, Give her the living child. It no wise slay it. She is the mother thereof. And all Israel heard of the judgment which the king had judged, and they feared the king, for they saw that the wisdom of God was in him to do judgment. Wow. I've always liked that story. Chapter 4. So King Solomon was king over all Israel, and these were the princes which he had, Azariah the son of Zadok the priest, Elihoreth, and Ahiah, the sons of Shisha, scribes, Jehoshaphat, the son of Ahalad, the recorder, and Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, was over the host, and Zadok and Abithar were the priests, and Azariah, the son of Nathan, was over the officers, and Zabed, the son of Nathan, was principal officer and the king's friend. And Ahih Ahishar was over the household, and Adoniram, the son of Abda, was over the tribute. And Solomon had twelve officers over all Israel, which provided victuals for the king and his household. Each man his month and a year made provision. And these are their names. The son of Hur in Mount Ephraim, the son of Dekar in Mekaz, and in Shalabim, and Beth Shemesh, and Elon Bethhanan, Beth the son of Hesed, in Arubath. To him pertained Sochoth, or Socho, and all the land of Hefer, the son of Abinadab, and all the region of Dor, which had Tapheth, the daughter of Solomon, to wife. And Baana, the son of Ahilad, to him pertained Taanach, and Megiddo, and all Beshian, which is by Zartanah, beneath Jezreel, from Bethshean to uh, Belmehola, even unto the place that is beyond Jokanam. Jokanam, Jokanam, the son of Geber in Ramoth, Gilead, to him pertained the towns of Jair, the son of Manasseh, which are in Gilead. To him also pertained the region of Argob, which is in Bashan, threescore great cities with walls and brazen bars. And Ahinadab, the son of Ido or Edo had Mahanim. Uh, uh, Hemaz was in Naphtali. He also took Basmath, the daughter of Solomon, to wife. Bahana, the son of Hushai, was an Asher and an Aloth. Jehoshaphat, the son of Perua in Iskahar. Shimei, the son of Ella in Benjamin. Geber, the son of Uri, was in the country of Gilead, in the country of Sion, king of the Amorites, and of Og, king of 
Bashan, and he was the only officer which was in the land. Judah and Israel were many, as the sand which is by the sea in multitude, eating and drinking and making merry. And Solomon reigned over all kingdoms, from the river unto the land of the Philistines, and unto the border of Egypt. They brought presents and served Solomon all the days of his life. And Solomon's provision for one day was thirty measures of fine flour and three score measures of meal, ten fat oxen and twenty oxen out of the pastures and a hundred sheep, besides hearts and roebucks and fallow deer and fatted fowl. For he had dominion over all the region of this side the river from Tipsha even to Azal, over all the kings on this side the river, and he had peace on all sides round about him. And Judah and Israel dwelt safely, every man under his vine and under his fig tree, from Dan even to Beersheba, all the days of Solomon. And Solomon had forty thousand stalls of horses for his chariots, and twelve thousand horsemen. And those officers provided victual for King Solomon, and for all that came unto King Solomon's table. Every man in his month, they lacked nothing. Barley also, and straw for the horses and dromedaries, brought they unto the place where the officers were, every man according to his charge. And God gave Solomon wisdom and understanding exceeding much, and largeness of heart, even as the sand that is on the seashore. And Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the east country and all the wisdom of Egypt. For he was wiser than all men, than Ethan the Ezraite, and, and Heman, and Chalcol, and Darda the sons of Mahal. And his fame was in all nations round about. And he spake three thousand proverbs, and his songs were a thousand and five. And he spake of trees from the cedar tree that is in Lebanon, even unto the hyssop that is springeth out of the wall. He spake also of beasts, and of fowl, and of creeping things, and of fishes. And there came of all people to hear the wisdom of Solomon, from all kings of the earth, which had heard of his wisdom. And that's going to do it for today's reading. I have a pupper down here at my feet that's just whining at me. I can't figure out what's wrong with him. I hope you all enjoyed my little wall hanging there today. No, my windows aren't dirty. Either in the house or in the vehicle. It's just puppy nose art. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all have a wonderfully blessed day. Um, be kind to one another. I appreciate you stopping by and we'll see you next time.